Hey there, this is Bashtar from Tech. welcome to the video. In this video I want to talk about some issues I faced with my RTX 3080 Ti Trinity OC from Zotac while mining Ethash. And I should mention that I already had another RTX 3080 Ti, which is Phoenix from Vaynor. And that one is just a regular edition, while the Zotac one is an OC edition, which is supposed to be more capable and do better than a regular one. And it really does. As you can see, it's giving me almost 7 mega hash per second more than the regular one. And my apologies for the video quality. I had to use my phone to record because I didn't want to give the GPU another reason to crash. And it took me more than a week to finish this whole thing because I just wanted to make sure what exactly is the problem and what could possibly just like solve the problem and i should mention that i'm using trx minor as part of the solution because with the mb minor i couldn't manage like the whole thing as well as trx minor and the thing that i was looking for was how to overclock the gpu within the minor itself and trx minor will let you do that so i have overclocked the gpu uh, within the batch file all of my overclocking settings are there and i'm going to show you uh, what are my settings especially for the Zotac one so here is how you do it with within the Turex miner so this one is locking the core clock and this is what I have done with the Zotac one I have locked the core, the core clock at 1300 and the memory clock at 1450 so this is the important part well what were the errors that I was facing to begin with, at first with MB Minor, it was either a CUDA error with error code number 30 or a blue screen of death, which is worse than a CUDA error. With the CUDA error, the miner would restart and you just know that there was a GPU crash, but with the blue screen of death, the whole system dies. And when the GPU crashes, the whole overclocking settings will go back to the default one. So as a result, you have to apply the settings again but when you have the whole overclocking settings within the batch file when the GPU restarts the GPU crashes the miner would restart and the overclocking settings are applied that's why I changed the NP miner to TRX miner so back to the errors as you can see the GPU has crashed 29 times in around 12 hours which would be more than 2 times in an hour and it's really bad and the strange thing is that my RTX 3080 Ti Phoenix from Gainward the regular one has crashed more than the Zotac one and for me it was strange because I didn't have any problems before that so previously there was no problem with the Gainward one but when I combined them put them into the same rig this happened so what I did is I had to separate them and I did that. So before I forget mentioning the blue screen of death error code, it was most of the time video TDR failure. So then I separated both of the GPUs, then I lowered down the memory clock for the Zotac one, because that's what I thought was the reason behind all of these crashes. And these are the stats after the change. So this one is the, Z the Zotac one. 11 crashes in 20 hours, rejected share 2.3%. It is better than they were combined, but it is still bad. So, this is when I thought maybe changing the overclocking settings and lowering down the memory clock could actually improve this whole thing a lot. And let me tell you, I actually tried so many ways. I searched, I researched, uninstalled drivers, reinstalled them even I reset the whole PC, it didn't work. And I'm not sure in the next updates of those miners this could be resolved or maybe this issue is only there with those LHR GPUs, I'm not sure. But here my overclocking setting is 
so I locked the core clock this time at 1250 and I lowered down the memory clock to 1170 this means that I would get lower hash rate as you can see 90 mega hash per second between 88 and 90 most of the times but the whole thing is is better only four GPU crashes in more than 21 hours comparing this to the first time it's way way better and of course I wouldn't just stop like that so I waited for another day and here after one day and one hour as you can see only one more crash so tell me your thoughts about that have you had those problems how did you deal with them because you know mining is really something like unique kind of unique what i face you may not face i have two same rtx 38 ti's but from different brands and different editions and i already have different results for them and i'm not sure if this issue is going to be solved for the next updates hopefully they will and also i'm not sure if it is something unique to the LGR gpus if you have a non LGR gpu unfortunately i don't have it so i cannot share it with you but if you have it let us know your experience and finally what i want to show you is i combine both the gpus in the same rig because if they don't work together then what's the point and as you can see in almost 11 hours no issues no crashes it is just that i'm getting lower hash rates with the gain work to be specific and it's because the LGR value is 72.5 and i wouldn't be worried about that actually because the mining process is much more stable and that's it for me today and if you have had like similar problems and you solve them please let us know tell me your thoughts if you have any questions any suggestions please let me know and subscribe to my channel and yeah until next time stay safe